All right. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon, everybody. Hopefully, you're ready for a spooky game. Maybe, possibly. Um, not sure what to expect. Music says something interesting, but yes, this is the excavation of Hobbs Barrow, a game by Wadjet Eye Games, who we've played a couple of their games before, and they've been pretty good. This is the newest one that has been released. So, oh, hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so I, I think this may be a horror. This may be a horror point and click. I don't know, but that was that was unexpected. Okay. Oh well let's let's get into this. Quickly before I forget though, I subtitles on, they totally are. Oh look at those. Look at these light nice settings. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Look to advanced dialogue. Off. Back. Alright, let's continue or not continue. Oh my goodness, new game. Words are great. Inter interesting way to start. Just right into the, the meat of it. Okay. Ah, Miss Bateman. Welcome back to Ticehurst House. It's been quite some time. Terrible weather this evening, is it not? Nurse Blaketon has had enough of me smoking inside. Makes her cough, you see. A bit of rain won't kill me, will it? You, uh, you mustn't be interested in me nattering on. Give my regards to your father. Nurse Blaketon is preparing his supper. You look pale, Miss Bateman. Do head inside. You'll catch your death out here. Dearest Mother, I hope this letter will reach you. I have spent these past years in torment, trying to piece together what remains of fractured memories. What I am about to recount to you will seem beyond comprehension, but I beg for your patience. I will endeavour to explain the events that led me to Ticehurst House that night. As far as I can recall, this whole wretched story started with the receipt of a letter from a Mr. Leonard Shoulder. The letter brought me to the isolated village of Bewley, deep in the moors. No station master in sight. I hope the village isn't too far away. I can't recall our exact meeting place. Mr. Shoulder mentioned it in his letter. Oh, oh a tutorial. Nice. Left click to walk, interact, right click to examine. To access the inventory menu, move your mouse cursor to the top of the screen. Left click on the, an inventory item to select it. Right click to examine it. Once an inventory item is selected, you can right-click to deselect it. You can double-click on an exit to teleport directly to it. How informative. Actually, that's really handy. Uh, the game will occasionally autosave. You can also save any time by the menu. Uh, keyboard shortcuts. Escape menu. F5 quick save. F7 quick load. Map when available in space. Oh, ooh! Oh, that's, that's handy. That is very handy. Understood. Okay, well, let's look around. Sign. If I take the sign, how would the trains know where to stop? 
Oh, they know. Just shove it in your infinite bag of holding. Hopefully that is a bag of holding. That'd be pretty badass. Tracks. My mother always told me not to walk on railway tracks. Okay. Can we actually walk on them? My mother always... The tracks look quite untarnished. I don't think many trains come through here. Uh, let's check the sign. Bewley. I have great expectations for this barrow. So, Bewley. Bewley? Bewley. Bewley. great expectations for this barrow. Bewley. Bewley. I'm going to try and remember the name's town. Or the town of the name. Pardon. Bewley. Bewley. Hello there. The post looks unattended. A door of fine construction. Hello. Okay, so there's no one there. Um, she did mention something about a letter. I ought to read Mr. Oh, there it is. Again. I can't recall the name of our meeting place. Okay, so so there it is. Okay, so um, up here. Uh, can you actually look at your inventory? I have six shillings and two pence. My assistant Kenneth is bringing more funds tomorrow. Okay, so I don't we... like traveling with too much money on me. Okay, so we can look at the interesting to do menu. Full moon. Croissant. <laughs> it's like quarter moon, but croissant. <laughs> uh, handkerchief. A gift from my mother. It bears my initials. T B. Okay. A uh, letter. Oh, dear Miss Bayman, I write this letter in the hopes of piquing your curiosity. I read about your expertise in barrows, and if I understand correctly, you are writing a book on them and the treasure they contain. I live in the village of Bewley. Bewley, I did it! <laughs> Where a most special barrow can be found on the outskirts. It is rectangular in form and is certainly tall enough to stand up in. The place is steeped in local legend, and there is rumors of secrets to be found deep within. I hope you would not misunderstand me and find this letter intrusive. If you wish to visit Bewley and excavate the barrow, I would be pleased to be your guide. Please send your response to the Plow and Furrow Inn, Bewley. I was going to say Bewley. No, Bewley. I shall wait your letter. Yours respectfully, Leonard Shoulder. We have one more page. Do oh! Oh, excuse me! Oh, Miss Waddles in to the scene lady hello oh ho 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 <laughs> what's not expecting here to just speed waddle in near miss payman marvelous news i shall meet you at eight o'clock in the evening on the 14th of this new month at the plow and furrow in bewley the i just double checking if i said bewley right the inn has fine rooms, which you will find adequate for your short stay. While we meet, I shall tell you more of the circumstances surrounding the suite, which is referred to locally as Hobbs Barrow. It is not located on my own land, but we will have no issues getting permission to excavate. I wish you a safe journey. Cool. I must make my way to the Plow and Furrow Inn. Well, before that, we're going to talk to Miss Speed Waddle Lady, who just zoomed in onto the scene. I swear she was not standing there a moment ago. She's super sneaky. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes. All right. Uh, from the top. I'm looking for the Plow and Furrow Inn. Do you know where I can find it? Ah, young lady, leave the station and follow the dry stone wall for around half a mile. You'll come to Bewley. Go straight ahead, and you'll find the Market Square. The inn is to the side at Square. Thank you very much. Uh, Bewley. What can you tell me about Bewley? Well, it used to be a thriving village. Not so much now. I don't spend much time there these days. Are you local? Ah, yes, a local I am. But I don't live in the village. Where are you travelling to today? That would be none of your business, young lady. Quite. Apologies. I wish you a pleasant journey. Alright, then let's get out of here. Uh, what brings you to Bewley? I beg your pardon? What brings you to view limits? Uh, tell the truth, I have nothing to hide. Lying or suspicious. Ooh, we have multiple choices. Uh, let's go for the top. Yeah. Yeah. I'm here to visit a local landmark. Hobbs Barrow. Hobbs Barrow? Well, I can't say I've heard of it. For what reason? I wish to excavate it. Grave robber, are you? Not at all. I merely have an interest in antiquities. No, 
not much to be found in Bewley, if you ask me. You're better off waiting for the next train back to the city. I'll take my chances. Hmm. Can't say I didn't warn you. That was odd. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh. Spooky, spooky, dreadful music. Is there anything to interact with? No. Oh, oh, bird! Oh, bye, bird. Never mind. Can't interact with you. Uh, door. A humble dwelling. Can we go and talk to them? The old woman told me to go straight ahead to get to the inn. Okay, no, I never mind. Time to explore tomorrow. Okay, never mind. Um, same thing here. A humble dwelling. The old woman told. I yeah. Time. Same there. Okay, let's. I guess continue to the right. Uh, anvil. The anvil looks. Heavy. Beating raw metal into a fine object is an admirable skill. What else can I go get? Uh, the door. This appears to be the forge of a local blacksmith. Okay. This appears to be the blacksmith looks closed. Indeed it does. Horseshoe. A finely made horseshoe. The blacksmith must also be a farrier. Can we grab it? The horseshoe is nailed firmly to the wall. Okay. Uh, a broom? A simple broom. Can we take it? I didn't come to Bewley to sweep their streets. Never mind. Uh, anvil. Uh, bucket. The bucket has seen better days. Can I take it? The bucket is rusty and full of holes. Good, it's a holy bucket then. Plus ten against zombies. Perhaps this belongs to a merchant. Can we take it? This must belong to someone. I should leave it alone. Never mind, we can't take it. Alright, uh, cart... Oh, no, the exit. It looks like I'm in the market square. I should find the inn. Oh, so I'm guessing we just can't go that way. A fine example of a church. It looks like it was built in the Norman style. No, we can't. All right. A uh, door. A local dwelling. I don't wish to disturb the locals. Okay. A local cobbler. The cobbler's is closed. Oh, cross. Quite an ornate construction. This was created with pride and care. The cross denotes this as the site of a market, or perhaps a site of traditional religious significance. Or both. Uh, this place. The building is in a dilapidated state. The door has been boarded up. The building looks like a ruin. Okay. Another exit. It looks like... A Quite a fine building indeed. I don't wish to disturb the locals. Okay. Oh, sign. The Plow and Furrow Inn. The inn where I am to meet Mr. Shoulder. Okay, good to know. I mean, it says right there. The sign is well out of reach. Uh, oh, window box. The window box is well out of reach. These flowers look pretty. Someone must take good care of them. Okay. Oh. The Plow and Furrow. I have a bit of time before Mr. Shoulder arrives. I should inquire about a room. Okay. Uh, I guess we can go look at the man who's blocking the door. Uh, yes. The man looks thoroughly inebriated. Okay. Let's talk to him. Hello there. What's the young lady doing out alone in this sodden weather? Oh, I'm heading to the plow and furrow. Get out of the way, sir. You're drunk. What are you doing out in this weather? Uh, I can't want to say the middle one. But it, there's choices. And I mean, with choices, the whole, you know, it may affect your gameplay shenanigans. I kind of want to be honest. But this is so tempting. Let's go to the top. Because I'm a wuss. <laughs> I'm heading to the plow and furrow. Bloody good pub, that's... It has the finest ales in the whole county. Oh, I'll take you there if you like. Uh, I believe we are standing directly in front of it. Oh, so we are. Wish. Yes. Give us a kiss now, won't you? Oh, oh my. Uh, humor him. He usually works with men. Slap him. I have no time for this. Deflect question. Perhaps he is married. Uh. 
deflect. Wouldn't your wife disapprove? My wife? Bloody hell, my wife. My tea will be on the table at this hour. And if I don't get back, she'll be roaring. Until we meet again. What a buffoon. Deflect for the win. Okay. I should speak to the innkeeper about a room. All right, let's take a gander. Let's look around, shall we? Uh... I'd like to change into something more comfortable before going outside again. Okay. A cold draft is leaking through the door. Ah, stupid drafts. I don't want to take the painting with me. Uh, let's it's look at it. It's a crudely painted scene that appears to be of a biblical nature. Adam and Eve, maybe? Uh, plates. A decorative plate. This one depicts a cat. I don't wish to take it. I don't wish to take it. Okay, what's this plate? A decorative plate depicting a serpent. Okay. A decorative plate. This one depicts a bull. Okay. A decorative plate depicting an eagle. A decorative plate. This one depicts a dog. A decorative plate depicting a bear. Hopefully this is relevant later. Um, uh, bell. Ooh, a bell. Pulling the bell would be quite unbecoming of me. Oh, come on. The last orders bell. Savior of many a life. Oh, so like a last call bell. I mean, why not? Let's just play with the bell. The prices are cheap here. I'm not hungry at the moment. Okay, let's go look at this man. A fine exemplar of inebriation. Good day, sir. Well, let's talk to you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, lass. How can I help you? Uh, a room, Leonard's shoulder. Uh, let's go with Leonard first. Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? Aye, I know the man. I'm to meet him here tonight. Can I get you something to drink while you wait? Not yet, thank you. Okay, then a room. I am in need of a room for the night. Aye, we aren't short of those. One night, is it? I shall need at least two nights, maybe more. Aye, tis not a problem. Three shilling per night. That includes your dinner and tea. A fair price. I'll need that payment up front for the two nights. Okay, so we do have money. Let's throw it at him. This is payment for the room. Thank you. Can I ask for your name, lass? Thomasina Bateman. And will Mr. Bateman be staying with us tonight? No, I am not wed. My assistant is arriving in Beaulieu tomorrow. Your assistant, you say? Will you be needing another room? Please. I'll keep a room spare. It's not quite as nice as yours, I'm afraid. Not a problem, sir. I'm sure it will be adequate. Kenneth is a man of inexpensive taste. Here's your key. Just go through the door to the right of the bar, then up the stairs. Room number two. Thank you. Can I help you with your luggage? No, thank you, sir. I can manage. I should go upstairs and freshen up before Mr. Shoulder arrives. Okay, let's look around still. Let's talk to this person. A rather miserable looking fellow. He's playing a board game by himself. I think it's Three Men's Morris. Good afternoon, sir. Note for your ear. I beg your pardon? I said there's note for your ear, lass. Be on your way. Charming. Huh. Uh, we got paintings to look at. We got people to talk to. I don't want to take the painting with me. The painting depicts a rocky edge lake. A small bronze plate states the name Lake Cubilius. A pixie faced peasant boy painted in a naive style. I don't want to take the paint. Okay, uh, we gotta go to the fireplace and the stag. A majestic animal cut down in his prime. The poor thing. The crackling fireplace is more welcoming than the facial expressions of the locals. A lovely place to warm oneself. Hello, sir. We are in the middle of a discussion here. Sorry to interrupt. Okay, let's quickly look at them. They are engaged in an intense discussion. They are engaged. Okay, anything else? Painting still. Um, 
Let's finish with the paintings and then choose a door. This painting shows a Rubenesque figure brushing her hair. Quite unusual to see such a sensual work in a room like this. I don't want to take the painting with me. A colorful work depicting a bashful knight. It is signed N. Hamley. I don't want to take the painting with me. A biblical scene of some kind. An angel is depicted looking longingly to the heavens. I don't want to take the painting with me. Okay, so that's that. Um, let's check this door out. A dreadful smell is emanating from the WC. Oh, it's the washroom, isn't it? I do not need to use the lavatory. It is the washroom. Okay, then let's go here. This door must lead to the guest rooms. Okay, so what, we're like second door? If I remember correct. Oh, she just instantly waddles there. Okay. This shall do nicely. Time to change into something more comfortable. Okay, we gotta have a game save. Let's explore the room. There's a match box here. Ah, complimentary matches. Useful. Uh, can we take those? Ah, complimentary matches. Useful. Nice, okay. There's only one match left, though. Well, that's not complimentary useful. That's, I mean, it's useful for one turn, time. Uh, can I take the candle then? My evening light shall be provided by this solitary candlestick. As the only light source in the room, I ought to leave this here. Okay, never mind. Uh, drawers. A decrepit set of drawers. Jammed shut. The wood must have warped over the years. Jammed sh I don't want to take the painting with me. Let's go get the painting though. A painting of surprising quality. It portrays a rocky outcrop overlooking a vast moor. Perhaps a local landmark. A uh, plate. A decorative plate depicting a goat. Oh, there's so many plates. Jeez. Okay, wardrobe. The wardrobe looks old. Perhaps a hundred years or more in age. Can we crack it open? I've hung my dress inside. Aside from that, the wardrobe is empty. Okay, we should check this chest out. A sturdy looking thing. Useful to many a weary traveler. Can we crack it open? I've stored my case in there. A box within a box. Ooh. Uh, what's this? Oh, it won't let us see what that is. Okay. Uh, anything else? I think just the chair. Oh, the bowl and the jug of water. A jug of water for drinking or washing. This may come in handy. Oh! Oh, we're gonna take it. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, how about the bowl? An empty bowl has been provided for washing. I don't wish to carry the bowl around with me. Uh, anything else? I think that's it. Uh, let's get out of here then. Um, okay. Oh, did we check the bed? I don't think we looked at the bed. I do feel tired after the trip, but my meeting with Mr. Shoulder must take priority. No doubt the mattress is stuffed with itchy straw. Huh. I guess I never thought about that, like, what they used back in the day for the mattresses. Anywho, uh, I, I guess we gotta find Mr. Shoulder. Miss Bateman, you've transformed. I feel far more comfortable in my outdoor clothing. You look like one of those explorers you see in the newspaper. I guess you could call me an explorer of sorts. I'm Stanley. Stanley Kemp. A pleasure to meet you, Stanley. And tell me, I trust your room is adequate. Most adequate. Excellent. Oh, we can ask some questions. So, so from the top. Oh. From the top. Has Mr. Shoulder arrived yet? Still haven't seen head nor tail of him, Miss Bateman. What can you tell me about Mr. Shoulder? Aye, he's a quiet fellow. He only comes here to check his post. Yes, I've been corresponding with him using this address. Have you now? You found yourself an admirer. <laughs> Not quite. What business do you have with old Leonard then? Oh, tell the truth. I have nothing to hide. Lie. Can he be trusted? I'm gonna be... I think he's trustworthy. I, let's, let's go for the truth. Well, if you must know. 
I am what some people call a barrow digger. A what? A barrow digger. What in God's name is that? Are you familiar with tumuli? I'm afraid not. Barrow is another word for tumulus, or tumuli in the plural. A profoundly interesting subject. You've lost me. I excavate ancient burial sites looking for relics. A barrow is traditionally a circular mound of raised earth enclosing a burial chamber. Oh, I? You're a grave robber. I am no such thing. Don't worry, lass. I've met all sorts in here over the years. I won't tell anyone. I assure you, my goal is more noble than petty grave robbery. What sort of relics do you find, then? Gold? Silver? Bones? Well, rarely gold or silver, but treasures, certainly. Ancient pottery is the most common find. I've been excavating barrows all over the country. I'm documenting my findings in preparation for my book. It shall be called Vestiges of the Antiquities in Rural England. Oh, aye. Very interesting. But what does old Leonard have to do with this? He sent me a letter in which he told me about an unusual barrow in Bewley, a site called Hobbs Barrow. I'm meeting him here this evening to find out more. I've lived here nigh on my whole life, and I've heard nout about a Hobbs Barrow. Interesting. Uh, Bewley. What can you tell me about Bewley? Aye, it's a quiet place. People keep to themselves, work hard. I look forward to exploring the village tomorrow. There's not a lot to see, lass. But St. Edmund's Church is a fine building, worth a visit. All right, Hobbs Barrow. Are you sure you've never heard of Hobbs Barrow? Not in my life, lass, but I'll tell you something. The moors stretch further than the eyes can see when you leave this village. There's no doubt many a discovery to be made. Mr. Shoulder said the Barrow is well known locally, a place of legend. I'm afraid you're going to have to speak to him about it. Why are you interested in digging around in the dirt, lass? Haven't you better things to do with your time? I enjoy nothing more than the thrill of discovery, uncovering the past and piecing together our history. I inherited this passion from my father. Oh, a barrow digger too, eh? Indeed. He would take me with him on excavations as a child. Does he still come with you now, on your own adventures? I'm afraid my father's been bedbound by illness for many years. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, lass. Thank you, Mr. Kemp. He is well looked after at a private hospital. All right, Stanley Kemp. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Kemp. Well, uh, I've been the proprietor of this inn for the last 16 years. I worked as a drover all over the country in my younger days. Saved up my coin and bought this place. It's a fine inn. Thank you. I often run short of ale, but my rooms are rarely full. We don't get many outsiders wanting to stay overnight here in Bewley. Thanks for your time. As you were. Okay, anybody else I gotta talk to? I don't think I can. A fine. Good day, sir. No, I think these guys are just. Do you know a Mr. Leonard oh. Shoulder? You ought to be careful asking too many questions around here. Be on your way. Oh, I don't mean to. Listen to me, will you? Be on your way. Oh, well, maybe I am. Maybe I should trust him. Ooh. Ooh, interesting. I am curious if my choices are going to affect the game later on. We'll find out, I guess. Uh, let's talk to the couple if I can. Hello, sir. What? I'm waiting here for a man named Leonard Shoulder. Do you know him? I don't. Do you, love? Never heard of him. There you have it. Now clear off. Oh, I wonder if that's Mr. Shoulder. Um, but before we go talk to him, I am going to wrap the episode up here. And I, I have brought it up in my Legend of Kirania video. Um, do you guys want the episodes 30 minutes? Do you want them longer? Uh, let me know in the comments about how long you want. Granted, I do my episodes in batches. So like the first four episodes are recorded in one large lump and I, you know, chop them into the said episode shenanigans but let me know if you want the episodes longer and my next batch of recordings i'll do them longer um and also because of the shameless plug like comment subscribe all that fun stuff and i also stream on twitch 
Um, I've been streaming when I can, aka when husband's home and can take the potato while I can stream. So definitely, definitely check out my Twitch channel. I am currently playing more so trying to find the worst point and click adventure game out there. Um, I will be posting the VODs on the YouTube channel. Uh, I'm currently, as I speak, going through the 11th hour. It's been fun. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. You guys have a good morning, a good evening, a good night, and hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!